let's go like this, and... Boom! Uh, screenshot? So congratulations to Flaming Lords 51 for winning the very first uh, channel giveaway. <laughs> I went to the store to get the $25 gift certificate for the giveaway, and I was like, no, you guys are way too awesome for that, so I got a $50 one instead. So Flaming Lords 51 received a $50 gift certificate for Roblox. And since it was such a hit and you guys are awesome, uh, we're gonna do another one. We're gonna give away another $50 gift certificate in the next two weeks. So if you guys want to enter to win that, once again, subscribe to the channel, leave your name in the comments down below, your Roblox username. Uh, and if you can, join the Roblox group. The link is in the description below. Hey guys, welcome back to Bee Swarm Simulator with me, Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. If you really like the episode, tell a friend. Today, hopefully, <laughs> is the day that, uh, yeah, I'm going to get the, the snail amulet. Uh, it's taken a really long time to grind him down. And I will admit, right off the bat, I did kind of do something a little cheaty. Uh, I got a thing called an auto clicker. Um, I know there's a... You can glitch your, right, yeah, glitch your mouse, so you're always continuously hitting. If you have two monitors, or like I do, you can actually drag your mouse off the screen, and your guy will continuously keep hitting without having to hold down the mouse button. Unfortunately, it doesn't work uh, that well with Beast Swarm if you try and stay in the game for more than 20 minutes. It still disconnects you. So the auto clicker keeps clicking for you, and Beast Swarm sees it as you still interacting with the game and doesn't disconnect you after 20 minutes. So what I had to do is I set up the auto clicker so that I was continuously clicking so that I could walk away from the computer and let my bees grind away at the snail here. Now it did take uh, I think a total of four hours to bring him down from 21 million life down to just under a million life. So <laughs> hopefully uh, in the next little bit here because uh, we're going to get it. I want this amulet. I've been wanting it for a while. I, I know the first one isn't the best one. Uh, I think you have to do a couple of kills with this guy. But uh, yeah, if you were to do this normally um, with the bees that we have or that I have, uh, and at the level they're at, it'd probably take, yeah, in the neighborhood about five hours of continuously grinding in this field just to uh, kill one of them. I don't know if his life goes up the next time he spawns back in. I don't even know what kind of spawn cycle it is. Like, um,. Kind of like uh, the tunnel bear, where it's 24 hours before he respawns, or the uh, king beetle is it, you know, a full day. So uh, I guess we'll see very shortly because he's already down to 910,000. So uh, yeah, we'll time lapse the grind. Now, just so you guys know, um, if you guys are going to do this, uh, like even if you're just going to play the game and kind of try and grind away at the snail, jumping is the best way um, to actually do it the fastest. So when your bees are normally, I guess, on the ground or when you're on the ground, your bees always try to get their tokens as close to you as possible. Um, and that works and everything like that. But if you jump at the same time, as you guys can see, the bees are flying up, and they're trying to make it to the top of our jump every time to drop their tokens, right? So if you keep that going, uh, you'll see slowly here that we'll start to max out on focus, rage, uh, haste, and even our vicious bee token. We'll get that 
a lot. Like, as you can see, there's two focus tokens right there. We missed them. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. Uh, but, it, you know, we'll get a lot of link tokens too, which will keep generating. But all right, so we're at 600,000. Still going to be a little ways. So maybe, yeah, maybe we won't time lapse the whole thing. But I will bring you guys back uh, just because I'm sure if you guys were watching the time lapse of me do just doing this the whole time, even this right now is probably getting annoying. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're at 65,000. I was going to bring us back, bring you guys back at 100,000, but it does take 100,000 was still taking a little bit of time. Um, so I figured, you know, I'd bring it down just a little bit more before we uh, come back to a normal recording. So we're at 57,000 now. Also, I think Doge. Doge Gamer, uh, he just uh, planted this, uh, was it uh, Rare Seed? Sorry, I was going to say Epic, but it, Epic's Gold. I still haven't, I don't think I've seen a Mythical Sprout yet. Apparently, uh, they're super rare to find or to get, and that'd be fantastic if we could actually ever get one. Uh, it's going to be funny because I bet you we're going to pop the snail at the same time. No, we're not going to pop the snail at the exact same time. It'd be funny if they, but ooh, I shouldn't have done that. I thought there was black over there. Hey, there it was. 25,000. Uh, well, maybe drop the snail at the same time as with the sprout. I think that's possible. Yeah, way faster. All right, well, either way, that's fine. <laughs> it just would have been a little epic if they both would have went off at the exact same time, but we're down to 13,000 life. 12. Oh man, I'm so excited to see what this is all about. I want to know. I've seen good things about the. Yeah, I'm at 8,000. Seven, six, <laughs> five, come on, so excited, three, two, one, here we go, oh, finally, 55 tickets, wow, star jelly, star eight glue, and then the snail amulet, which is 1% glue, 2% to damage reduction, 15% stump field pollen, 6% pumpkin patch pollen. All right, so this is just the bronze. Now, the way that I've seen or heard that you get better ones is not by the speed at which you kill the snails, but how often you uh, kill them. Uh, I think you need like five, to, uh, you have to defeat the snail five more times or four more times and then we'll get another one, another amulet or a better amulet and so on and so forth, right? So let's see, what is his respawn time? Three days, he's a uh, four days respawn, wow. Okay, so four days to respawn a snail. I guess that's not bad because that gives you time to farm this field. Uh, let's see here underneath badges, I believe it is. Go down to the badges. So we need 20 or 250 million pollen to get the, the next badge, which would give us 20% uh, pollen from tools, which is really good. Uh, so that's not bad at all. Uh, and there goes another sprout. No, my stuff. <laughs> Take it all. We can actually run through everything because I don't have to worry about taking damage from any of their, their snails. Uh huh. <laughs> we don't have to dodge them. But with that being said, uh, we're not even getting close to. We're, see, and that's another thing, right? Like, I've been playing this game for. I want to say two, three. Uh, actually, probably three months now. And you guys can see how much honey we've actually made. Uh, we're getting close to 20,000 or 20 million or no, not 20 million, 20 billion. Uh, but yeah, it's still a ways off, right? So I don't know. And we got some pretty good stuff, but we're nowhere making 36 billion. Like you see on the daily, uh, the daily honey boards. But anyways, uh, for overall, as you guys can see, we're, we're not even getting close to any of, uh, upgrading any of these to grandmaster, any of our master badges to grandmaster. We're making dents, but you know, 5 billion. Honey from just one spot or one type of pollen. It's gonna take us a while. Uh, but yeah, with the stump field being open now, we can definitely try and get that one. Or trying to get master badge in the stump badge field. Uh, or the stump badge, master badge, whatever you want to say. Uh, what else do we have? We have 1,049 tickets. And, you know, I almost think that, well, I guess maybe... When, once you get like the diamond uh, snail badge, I'm gonna say you should be able to get, I'm not 100% sure what you do get, but I, I would hope that you would get like a, a star treat, like after like the 15th kill or something like that, just because of the amount of time that it's gonna take, right, to destroy him. 
But uh, Paul and Marks, you can have like you could have like six of them up at one time, and they could all overlap. But you only get times two, no matter what, right? But with the honey marks, if you have multiples up, you actually keep going. Um, I've seen up to a times six or six. What was it? No, times three. Sorry, honey marks. So that means I had six bees converting, uh, doing, yeah, converting the pollen in our backpack into honey while we were out in the field. Um, also, if we can get it done here. So as you guys can see, we have two honey marks and or two pollen marks and a honey mark down on the bottom here. Pollen mark, honey mark. But you can actually move within any of these these zones. Um, so if you got it, uh, a honey mark and a pollen mark up at the exact same time, you're getting. Yeah, let's see if we can do it here. We are getting two times conversion and 1.5 pollen from both areas, whichever area we decide to stand in, uh, or I guess whichever circle. But they work together, which is great. Um, the more marks you have up, obviously, the the more room you have to move, run around in. And the more room you have to run around in, the more likely you are to get good stuff. <laughs> but let's go back to our hive here really quickly. Because what I want to do is actually we're not even going to our hive. We're going to go into the store here, open up the shop. Since we have a thousand tokens or tickets, come on, where you at? Star Tree time. Boom, bought it. It happened. Let's go back to our right here, and we're gonna use that Star Tree on a carpenter bee. So I guess it doesn't really matter which one we use it on. Actually, it does matter because this one I like more because it has more uh, bond with us. So let's go like this, and boom, uh, screenshot, okay, <laughs> so now with uh, the carpenter bee being gifted, we are getting, it should be 25% more pollen from, where I passed them up, 25 pollen, 25% more pollen from tools, so from our weapon we're get, we should be getting 25% more, which means obviously we're going to collect more, and fill up our backpack a lot quicker, which means great. We're gonna get, make a lot more money faster. Um, let's see, what other benefits? Two to damage reduction, that'll be good for the snail challenge. The 15% stump field pollen right now is gonna be great until we get our master badge. And the 6% pumpkin patch pollen, eh, not that fantastic. You know, nothing too great. And then the 1% plus 1% goo. Hmm. I'm not 100% sure if that's like a, a big thing for us. Like, look at right here. Like 160 billion um, honey or pollen. Not gonna happen. <laughs> I'm sorry. And that's why, and this is a, sorry, I'm gonna preach just a little bit here, you guys. This is one of the reasons why games get ruined or wrecked. So, uh, for example, I'm gonna say like World of Warcraft. Used to be able to sell gold in it, and <laughs> uh, the developers turned around and they're like, okay, well, we're just gonna make it so gold is just everywhere, and everything costs a lot of money. And, and pretty much on it's done the exact same thing. Uh, what is it? The boots, the gummy boots are a hundred, yeah, let's just make a hundred percent sure, but I'm pretty sure they're a hundred billion, uh, or yeah, they gotta be close to that. I know the masks, the good masks are five billion a piece. Uh, oh, gee. Oh, no, yeah, not the boots. Uh, so, yeah, five billion here. Yeah, and a hundred million here. Like a hundred billion, that's gonna take you a super long time. Never mind the ingredients of a thousand glue. But, uh, yeah, I just wanna bring that up. So, anybody using those lucky GUIs or anything like that. You guys are destroying the game because he's just going to keep cranking up the prices on us. You know, the legitimate players are going to take, you know, eight, nine weeks just to get one item. But that's it for me right now. So let's go back to the stump field and let's see how quickly that cannon's still not working properly. Uh, let's see how long it takes us to actually fill up our backpack. I feel like it takes forever to get up here for some reason. I think it's because of that red cannon.
All right, so that didn't take too long. We we already got an additional 11 million while we were in that field. So the, obviously our uh, honey marks are doing a lot of good for us. Wow, look at all those numbers. It didn't take us too long to fill our backpack. Actually, I was quite surprised that we were filling our backpack faster than the honey marks were coming in. Uh, it doesn't happen all that much, but uh, or all that often. Usually I can stay off for quite a long time. Sometimes even indefinitely while I'm uh, playing and just use the honey marks to empty our backpack, but that's awesome And what did we get? Yeah, you know six million from that. So I'm Gonna be making a lot of headway. Hopefully we're at 117 million. Uh, I just looked it up really quickly on the wiki Obviously, I can't quote the wiki 100% uh, as we don't know, as I don't know if it's 100% accurate or not. But it looks like the next time we kill the snail, we should get the silver amulet. And then from there, it requires five kills to get the gold amulet. And you need 10 kills to get the diamond amulet. Um, the diamond amulet, obviously, looks fantastic. But don't know what the stats are going to be. I guess the stats are just like all the other amulets. They're randomly uh, picked <laughs> or they're randomly generated. And therefore, we just can't say, you know, with 100% accuracy as what we're going to get on them. But it's definitely uh, something I want. There we go. Another level 10. Slowly working on uh, leveling up all our bees too. We do not have any more level 8s. We only have nines, and now we're working on the tens. What do we have for tens? One, two, three, four, five. Five tens, I think. Yeah, five tens. Not the greatest, but uh, I guess I got to make some honey. Or some money. One of the two. <laughs> but that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. So if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.